Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another GameMaker tutorial. Now, I have two announcements to make. The first one is that I finished my book. So, <laughs> pretty exciting. I finished the PDF version of the book. I haven't, st I haven't started printing um, and shipping the hardcovers yet because... I need to order a couple more prototypes to make sure I get something that I feel like is high quality. Uh, so I'm going to be working on that. But the PDF version is finished and you can check out a link in the description if you want to go buy the PDF version. So the second announcement is that the Ludum Dare, Ludum Dare, however you pronounce it, is starting here in just a couple of days. And I will be doing that and I will be streaming live uh, for that event. So if you want to check that out, my Twitch channel will also be in the description. You can go follow me on Twitch and go watch me during the Ludum Dare. I highly recommend that you join it. Just go to, I'm pretty sure it's just ludumdare.com. That's L-U-D-U-M-D-A-R-E, I think, dot com. And you can go check that out. It's a game jam. It's a 48-hour game jam. And there's actually voting for the topic right now. So both really, really exciting things. I'm super excited for the for the Ludum Dare, honestly, and excited to stream about it. Today, uh, you can see I have a game here, and this is the code from my Perfect Platformer tutorial series. Um, and this one doesn't have wall jumping, it doesn't have double jumping, it doesn't have the smooth move movement. This is just the most basic version of the perfect platformer. But I started with this version because I want to show you guys how to program some basic artificial intelligence for this room. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, so if you haven't, if you don't have this file, then you can actually download this file on my Patreon page. There's a link for that in the description. So many links. Oh my gosh. Uh, but you can also just go watch my Perfect Platformer tutorial video and f follow along with that. And that will get you to this point as well. So I'm going to add, I'm going to come into the room here and my level design is horrible, but I want to add some, I don't know, like, uh, some more to this level because it's just kind of boring right now you know it's like a super boring level so I want to add a little more to it maybe maybe using this they can actually get up there I don't know something like this it's kind of a pit right there um, yeah that looks pretty good I might stretch this out to two slide it over one I don't know Yeah, that works. I'll set it, set it up like that. So I'm going to run my game again now that I have that new level. And the level design doesn't really matter for this tutorial. I just wanted to put something in. Okay. That works. Looking good. Okay. So we're going to do... This is actually uh, very similar to one of the tutorials or one of the sections in my book on artificial intelligence. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create a new sprite. Actually, I'm just gonna duplicate this and call it sprite enemy. And I'm just gonna make it red. And boom, there's the enemy. And I'm actually, for the enemy, I'm gonna center its collision, or center its origin. Uh, I'm gonna do that just to make some of the calculations easier. Um, if you want to figure out the complicated math on your own, you actually don't have to do that. Actually, what I'm going to do is, these are all individual ones. Wow. I can't believe I used to do that. Okay. And you can just drag it out. Um, I'm going to separate those more like that. Actually, I'm going to separate this too, so it's only two across like that. I think that'll look better, personally. Okay. Um, I'm going to make the background a different color. I'm just going to make it gray so that the enemies stand out. Okay, save it. I'm going to add a new object. We're going to call this object enemy. And this enemy is going to do some stuff. But first, we need to make sure 
and set the sprite for it. And we're going to create two. This enemy is going to have two states. Um, it's going to be a basic enemy. It's just going to move left and right. So we're going to have two scripts for those states. So add a new script. Call this script move right. Script move right. No. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't actually matter. And this code is quite long actually so we're gonna do let's create a couple temporary variables we're gonna do var um, solid should be able to just set h speed let's set H speed equals, since we're moving to the right, I'm going to set it two. So that's to the right. Now I'm going to do var solid. Well, let's do place open. That's kind of cheesy, but whatever. Place open equals not place meeting. Let's call that taken, place taken equals not place meeting x plus h speed y object solid. I'm going to drag this out a little bit. And then we're going to create another one called var. Uh, let's call this ledge equals instance position x plus sprite this is where the math comes in width divided by 2 plus 1 that's the x we're just going to add 1 yeah and then we're going to do y plus sprite height divided by 2 plus 1 object solid I think that's good okay so these are the two cases where we want our enemy to turn around if it runs into a wall if there's a wall actually let's just call this wall for simplicity if there's a wall or there's a ledge we want our enemy to turn around and go the other direction because it's just gonna walk back and forth so now we can do if wall or sorry or ledge x plus equals well yeah x plus equals h speed then we're going to do else hold on if not position meeting and instance position. These are checking to see if there's not a wall and there's not a ledge. <laughs> so so we can add these in. So if there's not a wall and there's not a ledge then we move if there is a wall and there is a ledge or I should say or there is a ledge oh yeah that's why this needs to be an and here now if there's not a wall and there's not a ledge we move otherwise state equals script move left now I haven't created this state yet but let's copy this right here and we'll create a new script we'll call this script move left now the interesting thing is you could probably set this up to have one script to do both of these and just pass in the right information but this works as well and this is a pretty good way of doing it we're going to set the h speed to negative too and over here we want to subtract right here from the x and subtract right here yes 
um, but we're gonna leave the Y the same for that check and then instead of left we're gonna do right and I think we're done well now we need to go into our enemy add a create event and drag over a uh, code action we'll initialize the enemy we'll do state equals choose script move right script move left so when it starts out it's going to choose between one of those states so it'll do randomly I'm going to add a step event which actually runs the state run the state script execute state so whatever state we're in we'll execute that script let's put some of these enemies in the room let's put one okay so we're going to need to change our snap since we centered it let's put one right here one right here one right here I guess so we can test to make sure the wall works I don't know I feel like I feel like right here is better but then it's gonna be like so hard to get by there technically they don't kill us right now so I guess that doesn't matter um, so let's just try it like that that way we can make sure it works with walls Okay, yep. Works with both walls. I don't think there's any way around that enemy. As a lev level designer, you would not want to do that. Um, let's add an interesting mechanic here where if we have a collision, mm, no, I don't want to do that. I was going to make it so you could bounce on their heads if you landed on their head. But I don't see the sense in doing that right now. That's mean. I say that and then not do it. Okay, let's do it. I'll just do it. So let's first of all, let's center our, our player sprite because that will make this easier. And then we'll go into the room, move the player back down to here. Great. And then we'll have a collision event. Uh, let's see, collision event with the enemies. Yeah, and then we'll do um, we'll do this if y is greater than other dot y sorry should be less than less than other dot y minus V speed I don't know we'll try that um, with other we'll destroy it instance destroy and then else game eh, restart for now sweet oh the other thing we need to do set our own v speed okay collision with the enemy um, v speed equals negative j speed for the jump speed that's what we created originally right here our jump speed so we're gonna have to take this one out because there's no way we're gonna land on that one We could, I want to change this a little bit so that we might possibly be able to land on this one. Can't grab the corner. There we go. Okay. 
Interesting how it gets rid of that white line right there. That's an interesting glitch. So let's add our enemy back in. And I don't even know if that that's going to work. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can make that jump now, though. <laughs> can I even not kill them? Because that seemed really easy. Like, I wonder if I can just run into them. Nope, I can't. Oh, but I can, I can sort of... I don't have to be that much higher than them. Although it's really difficult right here. <laughs> that is actually tricky. Now. Perfect. Oh, dang. Yeah, that's pretty good, honestly. That was... That works pretty well. So, there you go. Basic artificial intelligence. Maybe next week I'll do the other one that's in my book, because I have one that's a little bit smarter. It tries to pathfind a little bit. It's not extremely intelligent, but, um, for example, if you were... If it was chasing you, and you were to come up here on this, it would be able to chase you up to that. And then if you were to jump over here, it would actually try and jump over and follow you up onto these. So it's a little bit smarter, and then uh, it would actually try and follow you all the way across these if you came up to here. It would try and follow you. The problem where it's dumb is that if you, it's right here and you're right here, it won't go through this whole path. It, only try, it would chase you through this whole path, but it wouldn't find it on its own. So it's kind of smart, but yeah. I might do that one next week. Uh, sorry this video is a day late. I've just been really busy trying to finish up my book the last couple of weeks, but I should be getting back on schedule, so expect a video uh, both tomorrow and Saturday. And then I'll be completely back on schedule. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure and like, favorite, and subscribe. Uh, share this video on Twitter. That always helps me a bunch when I see you guys doing that. I always favorite it. And I will talk to you guys later.